Hey, what's up? It's Panscos here, back with some more World of Warplanes. And in this video, I wanted to do some live gameplay. So I'm in my, what else? My ME262, the prototype skin I was working on. See, it's kind of blurry, not the greatest, but... So this is a Tier 8 game with a P51H, the JU88C. And I have a Tier 7 on my side. You are approaching the front line. So I'm just going to play this game and kind of explain uh, my strategy or thought process. So with this map, you obviously have the, the mining plant and the airfield that are the main ones. And it's basically whoever controls these two can win the game. Because if you have the mining plant but you don't have the airfield, the enemy bots or bombers are going to spawn there and they have a short trip to the mining plant so whatever you do eventually it's gonna fall so if you have one you kind of need to have the other and also if you're a heavy fighter or if you're a faster aircraft and you come into something to, to attack the ADA well the slower aircraft and the enemy team are just gonna be arriving when you're busy trying to get the ADA so you see this I allowed the BVP to get on me because you're distracted with the ADA. So always keep an eye on that. If you're a faster aircraft, then you're the first one to enter uh, one of the objectives, especially at the beginning of the game. Be mindful of other aircraft that are going to be coming in after you. And that's going to be a lot easier for them to pick you off because you're going to be distracted. Human out of the area is always helpful. Looks like we're gonna get the airfield or air base. So now that we have the the airfield, I feel confident in trying to get the mining plan because Basically, whoever gets this first, it's going to end up flipping. There's really not much you can do about it. So if you get the mining plant first, and then the other team gets the airfield, eventually, uh, they're going to get it. And that usually happens at the end of the game, when things are already decided, and you don't have enough time to get it back. So sometimes it can be beneficial to let the other team get it first. But in this case, since we already have, oh, he dropped some bombs. Okay. In this case, we already have an airfield, so I'm, I feel confident in trying to do that. Yeah, this game can be very counterintuitive sometimes. And once you kind of learn the patterns, how the game works, I decided to try to go for the ground targets because I wasn't going to make the turn on the GA. Yeah, I got to watch out for that player up there. Keep the speed up, won't slow down. And he turned away. So now we have the center airfield and we also have the mining plant. So there's two things I can do. I can stay and guard the mining plant for all the bots that are coming in here. Or I can try to just keep the airfield afloat because that won't allow their boss to spawn close and they're going to have to take a long trip. And also, when you have the mining plant, I'm going to get some, some health here and then see that bomber coming in on the minimap? I want to take that bomber out. When you have the mining plant, your, your bot bombers and GA have the freedom to go cap other things. When you don't have the mining plant, that's always going to be their priority. 
so you're kind of stuck to what your, your options are. Oh! I just rammed a, a bomber. <laughs> I was trying to conserve my rockets so I didn't have to waste all of them on such a low health target. But I didn't get a lot of them and I was just like, okay, I'm gonna die now. But luckily he was low health enough. I'm gonna regen a little bit because I rammed a bomber. And now I'm kind of trying to keep an eye on where those other bombers are in I don't see any of them making their way across yet. I don't think this Spitfire is an actual threat, but since he's right here. And it looks like there's a bomber there already. So the player bomber snuck, snuck around the map. Uh, do I want to go for the GA or the bomber? See, he's flying toward me already. I only did that because he was on low health. <laughs> Even a full HP bomber could survive my, my rocket salvos. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, support will not be available. So we pretty much got this one in the bag. It wasn't too exciting of a match. We were able to get the airfield and we kept it. Usually it's you always tend to lose this, it goes back and forth. And once you lose it, all of the bot bombers and GA spawn here and they're eventually gonna get that. So it's a matter of trying to get that back and once you get this, holding it and then getting the mining plan. But everything worked out pretty easily for us. The enemy, the enemy player bombers didn't do too much. And I was able to take out the bombers. That's it. There's no way to break through for you now. You're on your own. Alright, got him a second time. And I had to dodge him this time though. Our airfield is under enemy control. We need to retake the initiative. I'm proud of you, so pilots. let's check out the end plates, as some people call them. See what we can find in the stats. So I only captured two sectors, and I kind of just hung around those the, the most. 12 targets, 370. And it looks like our BVP did a lot of work. 13 kills. Oh, he got a Galobev as well. Nice. And the Mustang did a, a decent job. But the bomber only got one. So he may be, a, uh, he only got one garrison. So he maybe he's a newer player. Uh, but that's this live replay.